What's going on, my wonderful outcasts, my wonderful NL family? This is your boy Retro Quinn, and we are back over this thing, continuing the NF journey. And today we got NF Suffice, and we coming off of that pandemonium reaction, man. Crazy, crazy hype song, man. And I know y'all told me that he got more hype songs, um, you know, coming up on the album and stuff. So I definitely got my ears peeled, you know, opened up for that, ready to hear him. But we got NF Suffice. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get it. I'm liking how the beat starting off. Yeah. If I did it, then I did it right. Yes. Yeah. This ain't happened for me overnight. No. Yeah. Bet it gets me, you gon' pay the price. Yeah. Down the business, I ain't playing nice. Yeah. So ahead of y'all, I'm out of sight. Yeah. When you pop in there, I don't want to slice. Yeah. That's a part of life, yeah. Mediocre, that just won't suffice. Better now than never. Ain't no cracking under pressure. The boy's clever. If I did it, it was stellar. Nobody fresher. Stop complaining, man. My head hurts. These catchy records ain't nothing really but a walk in the park for me. Heard the catalog, you know I got some scars on me. Just getting started, you don't really wanna start with me. It's John Kill, I would sacrifice a heart in me for family. Hold on, y'all know we got to take it back from the top. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this, uh, and it's it crazy because I was just talking about how y'all was saying he had more hype songs, and we got one right after Pandemonium. Like I, that, I wasn't expecting to have one because I told y'all typically what I've been noticing on um, just from going through the journey, and they'll forgive us like a lot of those songs that'll pull at your heartstrings, like deep storytelling, you know, all, all that type of stuff. And then he'll throw a hype song in the midst of it. But then after the hype song, he'll get right back in, you know, right back into the um, heartstring and heartfelt messages and stuff like that. But for this one, he giving us two hype songs back to back. But he got, and, and then I done told y'all too, Um, even with the hype songs, a lot of people kind of get, get lost in like the beat, the buildups, um, you know, like just how the song make you feel. Because, you know, like I told y'all, hype songs, they kind of get a little bit repetitive, but it's not repetitive in a bad way. It's more of, you know, one of those things where it's meant to kind of be catchy and just, you know, just something for you to vibe out to. But with NF, even though we had those hype songs, he still drops so many different gems in these songs. And like, it's easy to overlook it because you just vibing out. But we here to break down the bars, man, to catch these gems and stuff, man. But I wanted to, you know, just kind of get a feel for it and see which direction he was going in it. But we, we got to talk about these gems that he dropping though. <laughs> like even right out the gate. Yeah. If I did it, then I did it right. Yes. Yeah. This ain't like happened for me overnight. No. Yeah. See, I want to, I want to pause it right there. If I did it, then I did it right. I didn't take no shortcuts and nothing like that. Like I, I took the long road, the road less traveled. And he said it didn't happen for me overnight. And I'm glad that he said that because I done told y'all over and over and over, a lot of people, they just look at the end result. They look at the millions. They look at the like the fast cars, the lavish lifestyle, but they don't see you when you like at your, I don't, I don't even want to say at your lowest, but they don't want to see it at the beginning when you, you know, you're trying to get everything built from ground zero the sleepless nights, you know, like a lot of the figs and stuff like that. They don't see none of that. And, um, you know, I told y'all I'm relatively new to NF. Um, maybe been checking them out like the past couple of years or so, but even for the ones that been, you know, uh, following NF for years, y'all, I'm sure that y'all can relate to that even more just off the fact that y'all seen where he came from. And, um, you know, like just me going through the journey, looking at all of the struggles, you know, the burdens, all, all of that different stuff. And to see that light at the end of the tunnel, like even I know that it didn't happen overnight. And, you know, like I said, a lot of the people that have been following in there for years, I know y'all can relate to that more by him saying like it didn't happen overnight. And that that can even go into, you know, just life in general and anything that you got going on. Like It just it don't happen overnight. You got to stay consistent. You got to continue to grind and you got to continue to believe. 
and eventually it'll happen for you, man. Like I'm, I'm a true believer that and a living testimony of it. It's gonna be a good one. Yeah. If I did it, then I did it right. Yes. Yeah. This ain't happened for me overnight. No. Yeah. No. Better guess me, you gon' pay the price. Yeah. No. Down the business, I ain't playing nice. No. Yeah. So ahead of y'all, I'm out of sight. Yeah. No. When you pop it, they don't wanna slice. No. Yeah. Mm. Greed and envy, that's a part of life. When you pop it, they all wanna slice. Greed and envy. Mm. That, that's a bar right there, man. Cause. It, it kind of go back to what I was saying. Like when you going through it and stuff like that, don't nobody want to have your back. Don't nobody want to support you and stuff. But the moment you have that breakthrough, the moment it start, everything start looking good for you. That's when everybody want to come in with their hands out and stuff like that. Like, man, you know, I've been supporting you from the beginning, man. You know, I, I always believed in you. It was something special about you. You had something in you, man. I, they, they get to saying all of that stuff. And it's like, like, yeah, I hear you, but where was you? at the very beginning when I was going through, like when I had the idea and I pitched it to you and you laughed at me, just kind of looked away, you know, walked away and stuff like that. What was you at then? But now, now that you see that division and, you know, unfolding and everything working, you want to spin the block and you want to double back, you know, with your hand out needing, you know, needing X, Y, and Z. And it's like, like, no, nah, it don't, it don't work like that, man. Like don't wait until I got it before you want to, you know, say that you've been here from the beginning and stuff like Action speak louder than words. I need you to show me rather than just, you know, coming up telling me later on. Playing nice. Yeah. Man. So ahead of y'all I'm out of sight. Yeah. Woo. When you pop in there, I don't wanna slice. Yeah. Wanna slice. yeah. Be the envy, that's a part of life. Yeah. yeah. Mediocre, that just won't suffice. Better. Now than never. Mm. Ain't no cracking under pressure. The boy is clever. If I did it, it was stellar. Nobody fresher. Stop complaining, man. My head hurts. These catchy records. Ain't nothing really but a walk in the park for me. Okay. Catalog, you know I got some scars on me. Just getting started. You don't really want to start with me. It's John Kill. I would sacrifice our heart in me. For family. High road. Ah, see that? That bar right there hit kind of different too. Cause um. I mean, uh, Denzel Washington is one of my favorite um, actors of all time. Like he, he just he he do it, man. Like, <laughs> like I don't know, but um, in which I I don't I don't remember John Q all the way, but that's a movie reference. Um, in which I I think early on in the NF journey, a lot of y'all were telling me that NF was big on movies, and he will pull a lot of references from movies and stuff to you know incorporate into his songs, but. With the John Q reference, um, if I remember correctly, I think that John Q's son or some family member, um, in which I, I don't want to spoil too much for people that may haven't, you know, watched it or anything like that, but um, just just to give you like a quick cliff notes version or something, but um, his son or his like nephew, family member, something like that, I think they needed a heart transplant, but um, I don't think they had the insurance money to cover it, so. Um, I, I think he done like a bank robbery or a heist or, you know, held somebody hostage or something like that because he was willing to, you know, like go, go to his wits end to make sure that everything worked out so that his son, you know, he could get the money to, um, you know, take care of his son's transplant. He was willing, like he was literally willing to risk it all. But, um, I, I think that's kind of like, you know, something that we got tied in with this line right here. And, um, I could be a little bit off. It's, it's been a while since I seen the movie, but. I know people that seen it or, you know, can add on to it. Y'all can, you know, let me know down below in the comment section. Catalog, you know I got some scars on me. Just getting started, you don't really want to start with me. It's John Q, I would sacrifice a heart in me. For family, high roller. But you wouldn't know it by the way that I rolled up. For real life, I like man, that. good, it ain't slowing. High roller, but you wouldn't know by the way that I roll up. Like the way that he flipped high roller and rolling up. And first thing that popped in my head is going back to model um, when he was kind of, you know, poking fun at the industry and stuff like that. Like uh, when he pulled up uh, or they I think when the video came on, they had him out in the traffic and stuff. But he had like a beat down car and everything. And you can see everyone else around him had like Rolls Royce, Lamborghini, Port, you know, like all, the, all these exotic cars and stuff like that. But, you know, he he, you know, came up in the in the beat down car, just kind of poking fun and letting everybody know. That you know, I, I I may not have what y'all have, or you know, I'm I'm not showing off what y'all showing off, but I'm still that same caliber, if not better caliber artist or person than 
you know, than y'all are and stuff like that. So I, I like how he just doubled down on that right then. Um, like I said, kind of pulling back from Motto in my mind. By the way that I wrote up. Oh, back it up. So. I don't really want to start with me. John Q, I would sacrifice a heart in me for family. I wrote her, but you wouldn't know it by the way that I wrote up. For real life span, looking good, it ain't slowing. One after another, man, I just keep going and going and going. Yeah, if I did it, then I did it right. I like this it. This ain't happened for me overnight. No, no, no. Bet it gets me, you gon' pay the price. Pay, pay. Down the business, I ain't playing nice. So ahead of y'all, I'm out of sight. Yeah. When you pop in there, I don't wanna slice. Yeah. Greedy envy, that's a part of life. Yeah. Mediocre, that just won't suffice. I like Keep myself that. grounded, that's a piece of me that I won't let go. Ooh. No matter what level I reach, I promise to hold it close. Ain't gotta tell me this hitting different, man. I already know. How are you claiming we had a baby? We ain't never spoke. I don't be sleeping out here with random oh. women on the road. To prove it, I'm like, here you go. I could have saved you a bunch of Ooh. time and told you the results. Looking for us money from me, you ain't gonna get it though. Historic. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Huh. Aside from the flow switch, and else don't spill the little tea right here. And which I don't, I know I know for a fact y'all will be able to, you know, let me know more insight in it insight to this um down below in the comment section, but did some somebody trying to like you know put a baby on him that that wasn't his or like what what we got working right there because he he just shed some light on that but um this is my first time hearing of it um you know like throughout the entire journey so is this something that he been he been holding on to or what but hmm that's some new information to myself grounded that's a piece of me that i won't let go no matter what level i reach i promise to hold it close ain't gotta tell me this hitting different man i already know how are you claiming we had a baby we ain't never spoke i don't be sleeping out here with random women on the road they want a dna test to prove it i'm like here you go i could have saved okay. you a bunch of time and told you the results looking for us money from me you ain't gonna get it though historic oh. rain on my parade i keep walking in Part of the game, yeah, it comes with the territory. It's just another day, man. I'm used to it downpouring. It's nothing, nothing. Woo, boy. If I did it, then I did it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This ain't happened for me overnight. Yeah, yeah. Bet it gets me, you gon' pay the price. Yeah. Yeah. Down the business, I ain't playing nice. Yeah. So I had it, y'all, I'm out of sight. Yeah. When you pop in there, I don't want to slice. Suffice, man. <laughs> the flow switches, man. The flow switches. Oh. Stop my own okay, kid, no one touch it. Ooh. Became what they said I hmm. couldn't. Mediocre, that won't cut it. Life is a gift, I wanna live it to the fullest while I can. Why would I not wanna know my days in this game are numbered? Might as well enjoy the few years that I do have left. Who knows when I'ma write my last verse? I've been to hell and back ever since that first DP came out with all I have on it. I've been giving all I have, wasn't really prepared for the pain I was gonna have to go through to get to the end result that I knew I wanted. Hope that would make an impact in rap. Has that been insane? Yes, but it was worth it. I can't imagine if I would've gave up and just turned my back on this music. Where would I be now? Don't know how I would've made Why? it out from underneath that rainy cloud. Had my doubts, yes, but that's how I found my true purpose. If my surface looks great, who cares if underneath I'm hurting? If there's one thing I've learned in my life, it's that life is uncertain. Getting burned is unavoidable, isn't it? Ooh. Ain't a person alive that hasn't been a victim or being lied to. We're all hypocrites, giving our two cents, but not listening, all living in our own world thinking that we're right when the fact of the matter is a closed mind is the mind of an idiot don't believe that's true well open it boy hold it man we we gonna have to run this last portion back Cause he so he done gave us what three three or four floats flow switches just in this one song 
and I'm I'm sitting up here thinking that because I, I told y'all uh, NF like to do a lot of things where he kind of give us those movie type feels and like you know build us up, take us through the journey, and then you know like you know kind of kind of coast us on through. So when that song was ending, I'm thinking that you know he just finna you know just kind of ride out the melody and stuff. I was a nice melody and stuff. But then he go into a completely different um beat change and flow switch, and he's still dropping crazy gems too. Like I, I, I be telling y'all, man, don't like it, it's okay to get caught up in the hype and stuff. Cause he he dropped some fire hype songs and stuff on like some good bangers and stuff for the concerts and everything. But he he got so many gems in these songs, man. I I, I wasn't expecting this ending. Let me see. Meaty. Is this it? Oh yeah, yeah, here we go. Boy, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> so like, you'll think that it's kind of ending right here. Do not need no introduction. Come on. Stop my own okay, care, no one touch it. Mm. Became what they said I couldn't. Yup. Mediocre, that won't cut it. Life is a gift, I wanna live it to the fullest while I can, why? What I not, what I know my days in this game are numbered. Might as well enjoy the few years that I do have left. Who knows when I'ma write my last verse? I've been to hell and back ever since that first EP came out with dollar. Have on it, I've been giving Golly, man, golly, man. All I have on my and I I'm drawing a blank on it right now, but I'm I'm guessing that's the title of the song way way back from the very beginning when we was on when we started nf journey but one one thing that i love that he doing which i, I told y'all with different artists or like with a few artists they can do this thing where they kind of bend words slant words jump in and out of pockets on beats and stuff and it, it just it just worked man but the way he um you know kind of jumping in and out kind of starting the word and then the beat will break off a little and then he'll he'll finish it with a different word or he'll connect it with another word or something like that like that that's one of them skill sets that a lot of artists don't have man and i'm glad that you know showing that off um and like even even aside from that you know like just just to be able to go through the entire journey and even just this album alone he done gave us so many different feelings and stuff on um, like pulling at the heartstrings shoot hype songs uh storytelling you you name it he done done it man and um like i said that he he did all of that just in this album alone we only what six seven songs in i think or something something like that but he done already gave us all of that and that just kind of piggybacks on the entire journey and what i tell y'all all the time how he got so much different stuff in his bag that that he can pull out like his, his bag of tricks and it, it just it's still crazy to me about that little situation that y'all were telling me about on that song where he was saying um somebody had said he was like a one trick pony or something like I I to this day I I still can't believe that man especially when I can I can see the talent I hear the talent like it, it it's so much this man could do man like he he far from a one trick pony. <laughs> Became what they man. said I couldn't. Became what they said I could. Mediocre that won't cut it. Life is a gift I wanna live it to the fullest while I can why would I not wanna know my days in this game are numbered. Might as well enjoy the few years that I do have left. Who knows when yep. I'ma write my last verse? I've been to hell and back ever since that first EP came out with all I have on it. I've been giving Ooh. all I have. Wasn't really prepared for the pain I was gonna have to go through to get to the end result that I knew I wanted. Hoped I would make an impact in rap. Has that been insane? Yes, but it was worth it. I can't imagine if I would have gave up and just turned my back on this Ooh. music. Where would I be now? Don't know how I would have made it out from underneath that rainy cloud had my doubt yes but that's how i found my true purpose of my surface looks great who cares if underneath i'm hurting if there's one thing i've learned in my life it's that life is uncertain getting burned is unavoidable Ooh, isn't it ain't a person alive that hasn't been a victim of being lied to we're all hypocrites giving our two cents but not listening all living in our own world thinking that we're right when the fact of the matter is a closed mind is the mind of an idiot don't believe that's true well open it <laughs> a closed mind is the mind of an idiot man if you don't believe it then open it but boy I, man it enough strikes again man he does it again and that that ended i, I just i was not expecting that man and I, I know y'all told me early on 
Um, cause I, I think I, I think I stopped it. Um, like when I first started, started, uh, reacting to NL and y'all told me that I got to let it go all the way to the end. And this is a prime example of why right here. Like I said, when it was getting close to the end, you would think that the beat was just kind of, you know, just kind of fading out. And that was the end of the song. But then he, he come in and give us like another minute or two of just, just straight banging, man. Like, but I, I, and I told y'all too, like the, the storytelling and the message, the gems that he dropped, even in the hype songs, man, like it's, it's unbelievable, <laughs> but we, we done got another one knocked out. Um, didn't, didn't think we would have two hype songs back to back, but we here, man, um, not that pandemonium. And then he followed it right back up with suffice. So I am anxious and, um, you know, excited about the next song that's coming up. I don't know if it's going to be another hype song or I don't know if he going to, you know, go back to pulling at our heartstrings and stuff, but um, I'm probably going to go ahead and react to it here soon on um, cause I'm, I'm off today. So I want to kind of, you know, catch up on a lot of reactions and stuff like that. But as always, man, I hope that y'all enjoyed it. I appreciate y'all for following me through this entire NF journey. We got a few more songs. And then we're going to be checking out some other songs that wasn't on the journey. But y'all make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Stay positive and stay smiling. And without further ado, this is your boy Retro Quinn. I'm out.